You tell me all the things that you wish to be independent. Sometimes you're just so hard to reach. I'll just turn around. I never want to see you again. Hard decision, but I hate to think that you're just a friend. You tell me all the things that you wish to be independent. Sometimes you're just so hard to reach. I'll just turn around. I never so now I'm gonna moisturize. You already know. Now I'm gonna take my trusty milk of magnesia here. Now this is gonna make my face really matte and fill in all of my pores so it mattifies and is a filler at the same time. It's lit. I'm just gonna let that dry. And now it looks like a scary monster. So now you can click here for my updated brow tutorial. It's on my channel. It's ready for you to go. So we're just gonna skip that. Okay, so now we're gonna take this brownish um, skin cone skin tone color and we're gonna use this buffing brush to really just deposit that color onto my um, in between my brow bone and my crease and that is known as a what transition color <laughs> so then afterward we're gonna just take a blending brush and really diffuse all of that color because first we worked on depositing the color and now we're working on diffusing that color making sure that it's blended nice and seamless and beautiful and all of that so now I'm going to be taking this dark brown color from this Nika K palette and this angled brush and I'm going to really use that to create a definition in my crease area. We're not going for a cut crease but we do want to make sure that our crease is nice and defined. Yes, you better work. You tell me all the things that you wish to be independent. Sometimes it just Okay, now we're going in for black because that dark brown didn't really do too much for me. So I'm taking in the black to add in a little bit more depth into my crease. We really want our crease to stand out. But we're not again, we're not cutting the crease, we're just adding definition. And I'm extending that a little bit to my lower lash line. And so then I go back in with my blending brush just so that we can diffuse that color again. Because like I said, not cutting the crease, but we're making sure that it's definitely noticeable. And this is just a good trick if you had hooded lids or if you have really um, a lot of skin on top of your lids so that you have a fake crease. Now I'm going to go in with my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Black Bean. And I keep this color relatively close to my lash line. Um, just because black can be really harsh and using a lot of it can just go really wrong. It could go left real quick. So just keep it as close to your lash line as possible. And we're just going to work on blending it out and lifting it up afterward. So as you can see here, we blend it out um, so that it's not so crazy. And it still sprays. So we deposited and spread in and we deposited and blended all of today. Yeah. All summer 16. So now I'm taking these two bluish colors to make this royal blue color. And I really liked how it looked. So I'm just depositing that all over my mobile lid area. Yeah. And then I'm going back in with that blending brush and I'm really using that to blend out any harsh lines that we have. So now I'm going in with this purple shade, um, and I'm depositing that on the um, outer, the outer, the outer part of my eyelid right there. Mm -hmm. And I'm adding that so that it can have a little bit more depth and create kind of like a gradient between the colors, cause you know that's what we do it or whatever. Oh, that look nice. 
Okay, so I'm just going back in with that dark brown and that black again, just mixing the two to still add that depth. Like I'm saying, we're going into this gradient kind of look. And then going back in with that blender brush. You know you better blend for your life, honey. Okay, so now we're taking this bump bombshell shine shadow in Pat platinum club and the idea here is if you dab it it becomes really glittery and not so opaque but if you smear it it looks like a shadow so we're just dabbing it dab dab on the lid oh uh, dab 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 on that lid uh okay now i'm going in with this golden golden kind of color and placing that in my inner tear duct area Right there, mm -hmm. oh, real nice. Yes, cause you know you gotta glow wherever you go. <laughs> Ooh. Yo. Okay, and I'm just going back in with that blue color, those blue colors, just to make sure that it's still there and really lively and bubbly and all that. So now I'm going in with some liquid liner, guys. Uh, -uh no struggle today. Uh, uh, no struggle today. Look at that. Look at my wing, y'all. <laughs> Look at my wing. My game getting up there, bruh. I don't care what nobody say. My Look! Ah! Yes, bitch! <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, I'm taking my CoverGirl Last Blast Mascara to prep my, li my lashes for some falsies. <laughs> you know. Because I'm falsy. You know I got the false. Now, <laughs> bless God because these lashes really were not trying to cooperate with me, but I got them on, y'all. I got them on. Yeah. I did it. I did it. I did it. Yes. Lo si si I'd like to walk across the Okay, so now for the face, we just gonna zoom past this because I've done it too many times. I'm letting you watch me do it, but if you would like to see me do a full face tutorial, I can update it for real, for real. But there's a tutorial link right down there, right here, that you could check out. You feel me? So check that out, please. You know, get my views up, though, please. <laughs> But yes, that Sasha Buttercup though, like I have a love-hate relationship with it because if you let it bake on your face, child, you will look like a ghost, which I did look like, I feel, until I set my face right. But a little bit goes a long way. So what I like to do nowadays is mix that Sasha Buttercup with my Black Opal Deluxe Finishing Powder because I find that the Black Opal one just... It brings out more of your golden undertones. So if you're a chocolate sister like me, definitely don't use too much of that Sasha Buttercup. A little bit does go a very, very long way. you know your sister had to glow glow on girl glow on glow yes. In place. yes you better lock it in girl lock it in so i'm just going back in with my favorite cool pencil liner it doesn't matter which one you use as long as it's black and it shows up just take that in your lower lash line and make sure you get them lower lashes mm. 
It's time for the lips! Okay, so I'm just using a brown lip liner to line my lips to give it some definition, some wah wah wah, some va voom. And we are going to be using, going for a nude color since we have so much drama on the eyes. So I'm taking this lipstick from NYX Cosmetics. It's in the color Perfect. It is so cute, you guys. So beautiful for chocolate sisters. Look at it! And that's it for the look, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Catch me in my next video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.